Oh, I think this might be the mount. Let's go. We're gonna go in and check it out. Oh my god. It costs a lot of magicka to uh, launch these fireballs. Holy shit, it's gotta be said. What, uh, oh my god, look at all this stuff. It's very snowy in here. I mean, uh, it's not much of a, a shelter. Uh, you know, you'd expect a shelter to actually keep the worst of the elements out, but, but no, not this shelter. It's a bad shelter. Maybe the worst. Holy shit, look at this! Oh my god, this is fucking cool! Look at, there's like a pedestal thing for a book, and there's like some dead guy here with a note. It's a higher thug's missive. And a wooden mask. Oh, this must be the wooden mask that people were talking about. Okay. And what else? There's something else. Uh, oh, there's an orcish dagger here. Hmm. I'm going to take this orcish dagger. Uh, oh, is that a quill? Wow. Oh, i got to take this quill as well. God, Lucia's going to go fucking nuts. She's going to have, like, the best dagger collection ever. It's basically the equivalent of actually buying her, like, uh, illegal firearms in this day and age. Uh, so that she can collect them. Probably not the best, but maybe actually better than that than actually giving her drugs, uh, like we did to that kid in um, in Windhelm. Jesus Christ! All right, Hard Thug's missive. Let's check it out. What does it say? It seemed like an easy enough job. Graz and me done plenty like it before. Some chinless Breton wants bodyguards for a trip into the mountains. Fine, easy clink for us. He goes on about this twice forsaken mask of his the whole way, of course, got a pretty good laugh when Graz snatched it and put it on her face. He threatened to fire us for that one. Oh. Uh, not smart out here on your own. He realized that n that right fast and shut up about not paying. Okay. Uh, so we get here. He thumbs through some papers and mutters to himself. Never you mind that me and Graz had to cut through ten stinking trolls just to get him here. And without so much as a warning, poof, he's put on that mask and vanished. What the hell? Could have put my hands on his throat one moment, the next he's not so much as thin air. Well, after a while we didn't know what to do, and Graz picks her gear up to head home uh, when he poofs back. That mask in his hand. Beg us not, begs us not to leave. Says he needs us to wait, this is what he's paying us for, then puts the mask back on, his sorry face, and he's gone again. I'd seen cloaks do invisibility before, but a few swings of my first, of my fist proved he wasn't pulling that one. Nothing there to hit. God, this is kind of hard to read, actually. It's just the way that the, the guy talks, I think. Uh, he shows up again, tells us he's just... Uh, tells us he just needs more time, has to figure out something about other masks, and vanishes again. That was yesterday, and I'm done with twiddling my thumbs and writing letters to myself. We're leaving come sunrise, and if he shows up again, I promise Azura I'm putting this dagger through his chest to keep him in one place. Oh shit, okay, well that'll be the orcish dagger. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, we'll pull more loot uh, off him dead than he could have paid alive, but not the mask. That cursed thing can stay and rot with him and the trolls right here. Okay, fine. Well, we now know the story of this dead guy. Uh, we can't pick up his skull, but we can take this wooden mask. And apparently if we put it on, we'll disappear. Uh, do you want the mask, uh, Lydia? <laughs> Say. Ooh, look at that, Satan. Jesus Christ. Satan, stop, stop laughing so much. All right, Lydia, you still have time, though, to prove yourself. We may have uh, another encounter uh, that you, you could maybe prove yourself to be maybe a bit better than you already are. Um, I'm not saying that you're terrible. I mean, far from it. I mean, you're pretty good, but, I mean, you're no Uthgird. It's got to be said. All right, where do we want to go now? Uh, I didn't want to do that, actually. Uh, let's remove that. We want to go to the Silent Moon's camp, uh, which is back this away, apparently. Is this the Silent Moon's camp? I think so, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, there's the quest marker as well. So this is definitely the right way. This must be the way that we came in from last time we were in Labyrinthian. Watch out, everybody. It's very cold, also very dark. Uh, not a problem for Satan, obviously, uh, who is a, a, some sort of human torch. Uh, Lydia, I don't think I gave you a torch. Um, I mean, Uthgard had a torch. Now we gotta just like sit out here in the dark like a bunch of schmoes uh, because you don't have a torch and I left them all at home and technically it's not your fault but I'm still gonna blame you anyway. Fine. Jesus Christ. God. This this has not been a good road trip so far. I've had better. I don't mind saying I've had better. Well at least we got that wooden mask. Uh, we could try it out later. I don't want to try it out right now. Uh, maybe we actually have to wear it in that place. That's fine though. We can always come back to it. Is anyone out here? Hello? Anyone? No? There's nobody? Oh, okay. Fine. 
Should be okay. I think. I hope. Possibly. No. Oh shit, look at this. There's a majestic beast down there. Let's go get him. We'll go get the majestic beach. Uh, beach? <coughs> we could also find a majestic beach as well. That'd be fantastic. But, uh, but actually, we just want to kill one of these. Oh, look at this. Let's snipe him. See if we can snipe him with a massive fireball. Watch this. Oh, yeah. This is the big one. Pow! <laughs> oh, my God. Anyone? No? I mean... Oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, Uthgard would have been right behind me laughing her balls off. And Lydia, holy shit. Look at you. Look how far behind you are. You didn't even see that epic shot or anything. God damn it. Jesus. Let's see uh let's see where this thing ended up. That was quite the shot. Holy shit. You got to love fireballs. My god. Uh, much better than the other ones. Uh is he down here? Oh my sh Holy shit. Is this him? No, it's not even. Where the hell did he go? Did I just like rock him like right out of the right off the planet? Possibly. Great. Okay. Uh fine. Let's get Satan up just in case. We're going to dual cast conjuration cuz now we can get the fire going. Oh god, I fucking love this. I love being an archmage. So good. I've got the mask, I've got the robes, I got the power. Uh phew. there's no stopping me. I can kill caribous with one shot now. Uh fine. Where's this place? It's like up around here. I think it was like in this door actually. Apparently, I thought it was going to be a big dungeon, but it's like one room and there's just a treasure chest. All right. You guys ready? Oh god, holy shit. Look at Okay, fine. While I wait, let's get another See if we can hit this guy. Oh, yeah. Action Jackson. Look at that. Bam! Right in the butt. Oh, shit. Is he dead? Oh, yeah. He's dead. Holy crap. Oh, look at this. His friend is coming up to... Oh, no. He's not. Okay. Great. Fine. We're ready to go in, Lydia. Lydia? You, you look so uninterested. God. I mean, Uthger, if I was said to Uthgird. Uthgird, we're ready to go in. She would have been like, like with her big scary face and like ready to go. But like, you just seem like a little bit timid and like not, not ready to go. Fine. Have that you, Lydia. Maybe, God, may, Satan, maybe we can just like shiver in here. Oh, oh my God. Oh, look at this. Holy shit. Is there anyone in here? Hello? Wow. Look at this campfire. Holy shit. We can like camp out here tonight. We can actually sleep in these bedrolls. Oh, there is somebody down here. Watch out. Go get him. You're messing with the wrong lizard wizard. Wham. Take that. Oh, shit. Did you, uh... Bite the... Oh, shit. Oh, here we go. We got trouble. Take that. Oh, it's a, it's a highway. Look at that. Oh, shit. Look, he's slow time. He's chopping at nothing. Pow. A highwayman. Lydia, where the hell are you? I could really use some help here. Oh, look, she's got her bow and arrow out with her steel helmet. Uh, you do have a sword, Lydia, that you could be using. Good grief. God, that was a, that was an embarrassing display for the Triforce. Uh, it's got to be said. Right, what does this guy have on him? Some gold, a lock pick, uh, an orcish arrow, fine, and a steel battle axe. Two-handed. God damn. Uh, and some fur armor. Ugh. And fur bracers as well. Ugh. It's got seven armor. I don't know if I want fur though. It, it probably stinks. It probably just smells like absolute shit. I don't want to be smelling like shit. I've got these ar archmaid roses, <laughs> roses, robes on, and uh, and Lucia went to all the trouble to wash them as well. And uh, I'm not gonna just like stink them up with like some crappy fur armor. What did this person have on them? Hello. Uh, just some crap. Some iron arrows. Looks like just some hide shit and fur shit as well. Fine. Is anyone down here? He, he, he. Two threes. What was he thinking? Pull that ace out of my... Oh, look. It's bandits talking about... Oh, look. There's the treasure chest. Can we sneak? Is this the treasure chest? Gold. Minor magica. Hmm. Scroll of hysteria. Wow. Okay. I hope that's not all that we came in here for. I was expecting like some really epic loots, but like maybe Oh shit, look at this. Take that. We got him. Don't worry, guys. Look at this. With my fireballs, I'm just like icing everything with one shot. It's pretty fantastic actually. What's this iron door? 
Uh, and this bandit as well. What the hell is he doing here? Fine. We're gonna take uh, most of his stuff. Adept. I could probably unlock this, actually. I hope. Is it... No? Oh, shit. I just lost a lockpick. God damn it. Alright, Lydia. Uh... Oh, no. Oh, I'm just having... Like, usually I have way better luck than this when Uthgert's around. I blame you. Once again, Lydia, I blame you. Oh, shit. Look at all this. Oh, look, there's a way out. And is there anything cool in here? There's one chest that I can see. There's probably, like, a hidden one somewhere that I'm just going to fucking miss. Because I seem to miss everything. Oh, look at this. Extra Magicka potions. Great. A Lunar Iron War Axe. Look at the value on that. Holy crap. Uh, anything else? We got Plentiful Stamina. Fine. Uh, enhanced Stamina. Worth a lot. Health. Wow, look at all these potions. Holy shit, these are so worth taking. Uh, some of them are actually worth something as well. There's a whole bunch of food there. Some coins on the uh, on this table here. Fine. A bucket, which could be useful, actually. So, Lydia, get the hell out of my way. Look at the size of this bucket. Look, Lydia, I'm the bucket placer, not you. God. She, she really needs to learn the ropes. Look at this. Okay. Oh, shit. Maybe it's my fault, actually. This bucket is absolutely enormous. All right, fine. Now, if anyone comes down here to check on these guys, they'll they'll know that, obviously, this massive bucket fell down. Just, like, totally ace this guy. Uh, it doesn't even need to actually hit him in the head, but it does help when it's close to his head. What does this lever do? Probably just closes the door or, like, unlocks it. Or maybe it opens up, like, some sort of secret passage. What's in this chest? 49 gold and a paw. God damn it. That, that wasn't actually very worth it. There's some uh, Hagraven feathers here, though, uh, which might be worth something. Some food. Anything. Some jugs and baskets and shit. No. Uh, what does this lever do? Oh, yeah. Close the door. <laughs> God damn it. After all that careful bucket placing, it was ruined. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, fine. We can get out of here. That was not really worth it but kind of fun and we got to see um lydia in action and it turns out that she doesn't really do an awful lot oh look there's another chest back here though i wonder what's in here a scroll of blizzard and a potion of magicka fine okay uh lydia um that was that was really interesting um a close quarters combat with a bow and arrow uh not the best and uh also not very helpful either. I think I actually did all the work there, and generally I like to um, to leave the work to um, to Uthgard and Satan when I'm uh, when when I'm adventuring through like a dungeon or whatever. Um, how far are we from? Uh, here we go. Was it White Run? Okay, yeah. Let's uh, let's go back to White Run uh, for a minute and just uh, see if uh, the uh, the fair is in town. Yeah, yeah, that's it, Lydia. We're just gonna go check to see if the fair is in town and admire the beautiful scenery. Holy shit, listen to this nice music and look at the northern lights and everything. Holy crap, this is fantastic. Um, so hopefully if the fair is in town, maybe we can um, do some some stuff. Look at, she's, she's just like trailing behind. This is just so awkward, holy shit. Um, and uh, and and possibly maybe uh, we you can uh, you can show everybody that you're the bearded lady because um, that's another pop popular thing to do with the circus and the fair when it comes to town. Uh, Lydia, no, um, God, this is taking way too long. Look, actually, I, I have to start running. I just can't wait to get back to White Run. Jesus Christ, um, we're gonna get back to White Run. Uh, and uh, and hopefully uh, maybe we can convince Uthgard to come along with us because actually I think Uthgard is just way better. Uh, don't tell her I said that though. Please do not tell Uthgard that I said that uh, because it's a little bit um, mean to Lydia and uh, Lydia is in fact my house Carl and uh, we don't want things to get too awkward but I think Lydia is better placed uh, just staring at the wall of her room uh, rather than uh, adventuring with us because actually I just got so used to Uthgard being like a really awesome tank and uh, and while Lydia just like wants to use a bow and arrow all the time. Okay, Lydia, we're back I in Whiterun. Why don't you take a load off, Lydia? Why don't you go back home? I'll head back home if you need Yeah, a good idea. Go see Lucia. Uh, see, make sure that she's okay and that she hasn't accidentally stabbed herself in the dome with that dagger that I gave her. And I'll be back in a minute. And we'll go down and we'll find this... Uh, this black star, no problem. I'm just gonna go check on the um, 
Yeah, the the tree. I'm just gonna make sure that the tr tree is. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Now, now we gotta do some groveling. Uthgird's house. Uh, Uthgird, I have the key to your house. Uthgird. Uthgird, are you home? Have you? Uh. Oh shit. God, maybe she was so mad that I didn't take her that she actually threw these carrots on th onto the ground. Uh, this might be a good chance to actually steal some stuff from Uthgird, actually. Uh, Baron Zaya, Volume 5. Oh, yeah, fantastic. And uh, also the Hope of the Redoran. Yeah, I'll, I'll also take that. Uh, she's got some really good books. Look, Thief of Virtue. Great. Uh, what about this? Uh, the Disaster of Ioneth. Oh, wow. God, some of these are, like, ultra rare, too. It's like, uh, books have become, like, trading cards for me. I'm just gonna take all of these and, uh, pimp out my, uh, my house with them. It's gonna be great. Uh, Mysterious Akavir. Wow. Uh, The Real Baron's Eye, Volume 2. I don't know how many... Oh, look, I've already got a yellow book of riddles. What's this? Yingol and the Sea Ghosts. Oh, I bet you that's a fucking good one. Frontier Conquest. Uh, I bet you that's a really good one, too. And The Firmament. Oh, my God, is that... Starring Tom Cruise, uh, that's like the prequel to the uh, to the firm, the movie The Firm, by uh, by the guy, the lawyer guy, John Grisham. Anyone? No, just me. I'm probably, be, uh, actually, most likely my dad. My dad will definitely know that one. All right, Uthgard, are you up here sleeping? No. Oh my God, Uthgard's not even home. Where the hell could she be? Oh, you know what? I know where she is. God damn it, Uthgird. Um, I, I accidentally opened this display case and I, I can't close it now. I feel a bit bad, actually. She's probably drowning her sorrows. Uh, and by drowning her sorrows, I mean probably punching the shit out of people in the inn. Because uh, that's where we first found her. I don't know if you remember. Uh, the first time we ever met Uthgird, we met her inside the, uh, I think it was the Bannered Mare. Uh, she was in there and uh, we, f we, we had a fist fight with her. And then she decided to start following us, which at the time seemed very weird, actually. But it turns out that uh, Uthgird just likes to... Likes to, uh... Oh. Vampires? What's this guy talking about vampires for? Jesus Christ. Um, Uthgird actually likes to strangle people with her bare hands. Uh, which is, uh, which is a little bit awkward, actually. Uthgird, are you here? Oh, look, there she is. Look at her, sitting back there alone. Nobody wants to talk to her. God damn it, Uthgird. Come with me, you magnificent bitch. You're someone who can get things done. I like that. I, I like you too, Uthgird. I'm glad that you haven't harbored any ill uh, feelings towards me. Want to hear a little Lord wisdom? No. You don't really know a woman till you have a strong drink and a fist fight. I don't think we had the drink, but we certainly did have a fist fight, Uthgird. All right, Uthgird. I'm more woman than you can handle. Yeah, I don't need your sass right now, Uthgird. Uh, Let's not waste what I do need, though, is for you to uh, magically you put on all the cool gear that I gave you. What the, hell's your... named Ragnar, the red Where the hell is your helmet, Uthgird? All right, let's get out of here. Fine, we're gonna go find the Black Star. Don't tell Lydia that you're back uh, in in business, Uthgird. You're back. Well, the Triforce is back. Oh, shit. Participate in a drinking contest with Sam Gwenvere. I totally missed that. Oh, look at this. Uthgird's back. She's got her torch. She's not wearing any of her cool stuff for some reason, but that's fine. Uthgird, come on. Follow me. And put on your cool stuff, please. Why aren't you wearing your Let's cool stuff? Let's get going. Maybe I have to, like, take it away from you and then what give it back to take? you. I'm going to take all your cool stuff and then give it back to you, actually. Uh, like your ebony shield. Oh, look. She's decided to wear it all now. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Okay, ebony shield you can have back. Great. There we go. And uh, that's probably it. Oh, Uthgird. Uthgird's back in business. It's night time. Fine, Uthgird. Follow me. We're going. We're going to head back out. We're going to go find this uh, this black star or whatever it is. The star of Azura. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, we're not going to stop in at Bree's home. Uh, because we don't want uh, Lydia to know that we've just ditched her, basically. Because she's so awkward. Fine. Out we go. We're road tripping once again. God, the way it was meant to be. Uthgird. Me, you, Satan, the open road. Oh, God. This this is fantastic. Oh, shit. That's it. What's, uh... What's what's wrong, guys? What's what, what's going on? Uthgird? Uh, I hear... I hear music. Does this mean that we're under some sort of attack? 
Kyarg. Oh shit, yeah, we are under attack. What's going on down here? Oh shit. What? There's like a big royal rumble out here for some reason. What's going on? What's... It? Oh my god. Oh shit! Oh my god! What? What are these? Are they vampires? Are we being attacked? Oh shit. Okay, the guards took them out. Oh my god. Did you see that? They... Oh shit. Okay, no, that's just Uthgard. Oh fuck, Uthgard, you scared the crap out of me. What the hell? This guy, look at this. He took an arrow right to the butt. A master vampire. Oh my god, look at this. Holy shit, look at this orcish sword. That looks pretty fantastic, actually. Uh, flawless garnet, some... Oh, look at this, vampire boots. Oh, light armor and vampire robes, too. Mmm, great for RP. I'll definitely take these. Look at this. <laughs> look at this naked-ass vampire. Look at this, Uthgard. Here, look. We're gonna drop him in the river. Oh, look. Let let the current take him away. Do you want to say any words for our, for our dead friend here? No? Vampire, vampire... In the night, vampire, vampire. Sorry, um, sorry that you're dead. No. Okay. What about this guy, a vampire's thrall. What the fuck? Oh my god. He's got a woodcutter's axe on him and some lock picks and just a whole bunch of crap that nobody would ever even want, dare to want, except for this iron dagger. My god, Lucia's gonna have like the most extensive dagger collection in all of Skyrim. It's gonna be fantastic. Okay. Uh. For some reason, vampires decided to uh, invade uh, Whiterun for some reason, Uthgird. Don't ask me why. Uh, it looks like there was only two of them. And uh, I don't think that that's enough vampires to take over a uh, fortified town such as Whiterun. But there you go. Maybe vampires in this game are like kind of dumb. And they don't realize that maybe uh, numbers or, or the, uh, the power of numbers would have been a little bit better. Hey, look at this. Look at this majestic caribou. Uthgird, look. It's one of your kind. Chase after him. Papa, don't run away from me. Yeah, you like that, Uthgard? No? No. Okay, fine. Uh, let's uh, let's carry on going there. Uthgard, I, I forgot, actually. Uthgard um, doesn't really like the jokes. That's one thing that was uh, was okay about Lyd... Well, no, I say that. Lydia didn't really... God, Lydia was just like a total washout. Jesus Christ. Uthgard, I'm so glad that you're back. I just feel a lot more sort of confident and uh, at one with the world when you're around and and when Satan's around as well because uh, that's the that's the Triforce it's like a it's like it's like chakras and you have to balance them out perfectly to get the most of them and that's how I feel about the Triforce and Lydia was just not uh, part of the Triforce it's got to be said she sort of uh, she sort of like was like a like a 2.5 force and not not a Triforce she wasn't like quite all there um, <clears throat> where are we heading Oh shit! What's this? What what's the elephant thing again? The, uh, oh yeah, the giants. There's giants around here. Secunda's kiss. Hmm. Is there only one giant? Apparently, these guys are neutral unless you attack them, or or maybe like steal their junk. But you know what, Uthgird? I don't know. Well, I mean, maybe we could actually take a giant. I'm, I'm, I'm sure we're getting to the point now where we could take a giant, but I'm still a little bit scared. Uh, I just want to look at my map quick to see where is this place. Oh, it's like way over here. What's this North Brittleshin Pass? We might actually have to go through here to get here, unless we could sort of wind our way around. Look at all this shit. Holy crap. It's been a while since we've been to w Riverwood. We might have to head back there, Uthgird. After we're done some of these quests, I wouldn't mind becoming the Thane of Winterhold, as well as the Archmage, so then, like, I, I have, like, a total stranglehold over the, uh, the whole place. I think that would be... Oh, shit. What is this? Uthgird, help me. There's a rat after me. Oh. Good job, Uthgird. Wow. I didn't even need to, uh... I didn't even need to get my fire spells out. <laughs> God, holy shit. Um, once again, quite happy that Uthgird's back. Jesus Christ. Uh, even though that was a little bit intense and, um... Well, that, the rat got shot in the butt and uh, flew up in the air as well. Fine. Uh, we'll make our way around here. It looks like there is a roaming giant down here. What is this giant doing? Look at him! Oh my god. Look at his loincloth. It, like, barely covers... I wonder... Uh, it'd be pretty funny, actually, if, like, uh, if giants were just, like, these huge guys, but they just had, like, really tiny uh, little um, uh, butt cheeks underneath their um, their loincloths. If you, uh, if you can imagine that, that would be quite funny. Oh, shit. Okay, here we go. We got a fox, and we got some... Oh, look at this. The dogs and the... F 
Oh, crap. That fox doesn't stand a chance. We might be able to help him, though. Oh, shit. Watch out. Ah. Get out of here, you son of a bitch. My god. It's just like... It's just like throwing, like, a, a nuclear bomb at a dog. <laughs> Look. Bam! <laughs> uh, Uthgard now has fire resistance through her caribou helmet. It's probably for the best with the splash damage that these fireballs do. Holy crap. All right, Uthgard, we carry on. Uh, we may not actually... Oh, look at this. Signs of Makapaka. What could be down here? Oh, this must be this bitter pass thing. Oh, look at this. There's like a whole bunch of wind coming out of this tunnel. I hope it doesn't stink. That would not be ideal, actually. I wouldn't like it if it really stunk in there. I wonder if that wind is coming out, though, because there's, like, maybe a yelling wall in there. That would be fantastic. Do we even need to go into this place? Uthgrid, what do you think? Do you want to, uh... you want to chime in here? No? Do you, uh, do you have any thoughts about this? There's a cave here. Okay. Perfect hideout for bandits, or worse. You're probably right, actually, but, uh, if we don't need to go in, in it, I, I'd rather not. Maybe we can, like, come back to it? We could, uh, we can always check it out on the way back, Uthgrid. God. Don't, don't be so keen. If, I mean, if we can get to this place, oh, we might actually need to go through it, though, by the looks of it. Because I don't know if we're going to be able to get past all this. What is all this? What is this? Can we get up here? It looks very steep. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, it looks like day is breaking. Is day breaking? You gotta love day break. Holy shit. Everybody loves a good day break. Look at this. Day breaks. Every, everything comes to life all of a sudden. Uh, I wonder if there's, like, some bandits or some shit up here, maybe? God, we might actually find, like, some sort of hidden bandit ba bandit? bandit camp full of, like, awesome treasures and stuff. Or maybe just, like, some really just shitty dilapidated glade or veil. Bloated man's grotto. Ooh, there's a lot of blood on the floor here, Uthgird. Uthgird? Uh. I wonder if, uh... I wonder where the bloated man is. Oh, I see. It's, a, it's another cave uh, with blood splattered outside of it. That can't be a good thing, I wouldn't have thought. Uh, can we make our way around here? What's this? What's Helgen? Oh, shit, yeah, Helgen. I remember Helgen. Come on, Uthgird. We're on the road back to Helgen, apparently, which is, like, kind of far away from here. But, actually, this will take us... Oh, look at this. Riverwoods. Helgen must be... Holy crap! Look at the signposts, like, over here for Helgen. That's hilarious. Oh, look, there's Falkreath. Apparently we can make our own house in Falkreath. It might be worth actually going there at some point. Uh, maybe soon, whilst we're so close to it. God damn. It's really, I find it very fun, actually, road tripping uh, to places I've never been before. Because there's so much shit that you can find along the way. Like, look at this. We're about to, like, come up to, like, some mill or something, which is great. I love just, like, happening across a mill. Uh, not so much when, uh, when Uthgird buries an axe into the, uh, mill keeper's head for no reason, but, uh, but I still do quite enjoy, uh, discovering a random mill along the way. What do you think, Uthgird? Uthgird, oh, uh, look at, see, Uthgird keeps such good pace as well. God, she's so much better than Lydia. Oh my god. <laughs> good lord, that scared me. Uh, fine. Oh, look at this! Holy shit! There's a big lake here! Oh my god! Oh, this is fantastic. Look at all these boats and stuff. I wonder if you can, like, uh, maybe I can, like, I can water breathe as well. I could, like, go out into the middle of the lake, uh, find, like, some buried treasures at the bottom of the lake. That'd be fantastic. It looks like this place that we're heading to is, like, straight ahead. It must be that busted-ass old rune there. Fine. We'll, uh, we'll try to get along the shore and make our way there. See if we can find anything along the way. Oh, it looks like there's, like, some little camp or something down here. Fantastic. Maybe we can catch some shut eye quickly that's good god we haven't uh we haven't really oh shit look at this there's a guy here what's this guy doing is he just fishing hi fisherman i've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years oh that's good you hear that Uthgird? for years he's been doing this uh he's got a knapsack <coughs> well we could like totally ice him and steal his stuff but i think it's just gonna be full of fish I don't know about you, Uthgard, but, uh, like, I'm not too, like, into fish, actually. Even though, like, I'm a lizard, and maybe if I, like, went into the river and ate fish, that would make sense. But, like, but no. I, I prefer, like, maybe just some bread, or uh, maybe, I don't know, some chicken. But I, I quite like chicken, actually, Uthgard. What about you? No? Okay. Fine. Um, 
So, we continue on. Uh, we're following the shoreline here. We're going to make our way to these ruins, I guess. And we're going to find this, uh, this uh, soul gem that never expires, which to me just sounds fucking awesome. What is this? Oh, wow. Look at, all, look at all the snow blowing off the rocks here. This is so cool. Is there, like, a, another hidden cave here? That might be the... Oh! Hey! Look at this, Uthgird! Uthgird? Oh, there she is. She's way behind. Fine. There's a chest here, randomly. Oh, look at this. There's a garnet and some gold and a backup torch just in case we need it. Fantastic. Holy shit. Um... God, Uthgard, I just realized as well, I think I actually have the candlelight spell, uh, which I can use when we're in the dungeons. Oh, here we go. Oh, Uthgard, don't push me. I was just getting excited there, and then you, you had to push me? Like, why, why are you in such a big rush? Oh, look at the big moon. Holy shit. Um, we found it. Oh, my God, this place is very... Oh, God, there's a crab attacking me. Uthgard, please, dispatch of the mud crab. Thank you. God, what does this guy have on him? Oh, my God. <laughs> This crab just had, like, some random bling on him, uh, which is fantastic. Great. Um, all right. So this place is, like, totally sunken. My God. We're going to have to go down here and find... What was this guy doing in here? Uh, oh, shit. There's a skeleton there, too. I think we're going to find out why this guy was uh, performing experiments, like, on his students and stuff and killing them. And then hopefully we can get this cool soul gem that never expires. Uh, because it's going to be important. We're going to, we're like the Archmage. We need to do enchanting and we need to, like, show off our enchanting skills to all of our friends back in Winterhold and stuff. Uh, so it's going to be totally worth it. Okay, Uthgird. Fine. Uh, we'll end there for now. Uh, I've got to come and stand beside you, Uthgird, so that we can say goodbye to everybody. Oh, look at this. Look at this. She's holding the torch right above my head. Like, you know when you take a picture with your brother or sister and they hold, like, their two fingers above your head? And then your mom gets really mad? That is essentially what Uthgird is doing to me right now for this, uh, for this long, drawn-out goodbye. Uh, Dr. Doom and uh, Captain Caribou bid you farewell uh, once again from the world of Skyrim. We've arrived at our destination. We're going to go into this place and we're going to find this cool uh, soul gem and find out what the hell happened to this crazy guy that was like doing some work for the devil or something and started killing all of his students and everything. Sounds pretty cool. Uh, fairly uh, uninteresting road trip here. We got scared of a giant and, uh, and decided that maybe we should go to Falkreath. Uh, later on as well, uh, which would be very good. Okay, uh, as usual, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.